What are water spots and when do they form? What is the difference between them and tornadoes? And how serious should you take them? Watch this video to get answers to these questions and many more. A water spot is an intense columnar vortex, usually appearing as a funnel-shaped cloud that occurs over a body of water. Some are connected to a cumulus congestus cloud, some to a cumuliform cloud, and some to a cumulonimbus cloud. Water spots can form when winds blowing in two different directions run into each other. Along the line where the two winds met, there is a lot of rotating air near the surface. The collision of the two winds make air move upwards because it has nowhere else to go. This rising air carries water vapor high into the sky where it creates rain showers, storms and cumulus clouds. As the air rises, it can tilt some of the horizontal spinning air near the surface into the vertical direction. When the vertical spin concentrates at a particular point, it starts sucking up water. And this is how water spots are forming. Most water spots do not suck up water and are small and weak rotating columns of air over water. Although they are most often weaker than their land counterparts, stronger versions spawned by mesocyclones do occur. The National Weather Service classifies water spots into one of two categories, namely fair weather water spots and tornadic water spots. Fair weather water spots can develop below fairly innocuous looking cumulus clouds, usually oriented in a long line over the water. They work upward from the water surface, forming under light wind within a moist and unstable air mass. While deep moist convection might be in the vicinity, most are not directly associated with thunderstorms. Tornadic water spots, on the other hand, are the typical tornadoes formed over water and tornadoes that move from land to water. Therefore, tornadic water spots are associated with thunderstorms. These water spots form by moving down from the thunderstorm base towards the water below, similar to how tornadoes form over land. distinction between a tornado and a water spot is that a tornado occurs over land while a water spot occurs over water. The water spot is weaker than land tornadoes due to the force of friction being weaker over water. This means there is less air available to be drawn into the circulation or vortex. Though the majority of water spots occur in the tropics, they can seasonally appear in temperate areas throughout the world and are common across the western coast of Europe, as well as the British Isles and several areas of the Mediterranean and Baltic Sea. 
Water sports are common along the southeast US coast, especially of southern Florida and the Keys. Approximately 160 water sports are currently reported per year across Europe, with the Netherlands reporting the most at 60, followed by Spain and Italy at 25, and the United Kingdom at 15. They are more frequent within 100 kilometers from the coast than further out at sea. Water spots can happen over seas, bays and lakes worldwide. They are not restricted to salt water. Many have been reported on lakes and rivers, including the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence River. They are the most common in late summer. In the northern hemisphere, September has been pinpointed as the prime month of formation. Water spots have long been recognized as serious marine hazards. Stronger water spots pose threats to watercraft, aircraft and people. It is recommended to keep a considerable distance from this phenomena and to always be on alert through weather reports. Incidents of water spots causing severe damage and casualties are rare. However, there have been several notable examples. The Malta tornado in 1555 was the earliest record of a deadly water spot. It struck the Grand Harbor of Valletta, sinking four galleys and numerous boats and claiming hundreds of lives. There was a commonly held belief among the sailors in the 18th and 19th centuries that shooting a broadside cannon volley dispersed water spots. You should take water spots seriously. If you are a boater or a person living along the coast, you should be aware of their destructive potential. When warnings are issued for water spots, be prepared to quickly seek safe harbor or to find shelter out of the path of the water spot. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you want to see more interesting videos, help our channel to grow by pressing the like button and share our videos with your friends. And if you are the first time here, don't forget to subscribe.